welcome to Transformed by Truth, the podcast that will challenge and empower you to free your mind and absorb the truth about who you really are and what you're capable of. I'm Deborah Stonnell and my purpose is to help you to unlock your potential and create a fulfilling life that aligns with God's designed purpose for you. So I want to ask you, even as a Christian woman, do you ever feel that you are failing miserably at life? Where's the power, the abundance, the energy, the impact, the blessings? Do you ask yourself those questions sometimes? I watched a film and one of the lines was, everyone fails at who they are supposed to be. The measure of a person of a hero is how well they succeed in being who they are. And that really hit me. (laughs) And brownie points for you if you get the film right without looking it up. (laughs) Don't cheat. I'm trusting you. You can type it in the comments section if that's available. But listen, perhaps you are only failing miserably, as you see it, because you are trying to be someone else or live someone else's life, or build someone else's dream. You're not living the life that you want, or indeed the life you were made for. You've lost a sense of who you are. Everyone, and I mean everyone, family, friends, peers, bosses, people in the church, everyone will tell you who to be will try and fit you into whatever mould is comfortable for them. And they'll do it consciously, but also subconsciously. The world will subtly and unsubtly put labels on you. And you know what? You'll wear those labels without even knowing it most of the time. Listen, you will begin to blossom once you step into who you were created to be. And you can bloom where you're planted. You can. The journey of transformation to discovering or rediscovering who you are is an empowering one. And it's so well worth it. And you know what? It might, no, it might not all be plain sailing and flowers and hearts and unicorns and rainbows. And yeah, it is more than likely going to ruffle some feathers but it will be a darn sight better than where you are now and how you feel now because it will be authentic. And the more you grow into the real you, the more free you will become and feel. And it may be that to anyone looking outside in, everything is okay. But I know that you just sense that something is out of alignment. You can't even put your finger on it. Something is off with you or with your life? Well, I say, go back to the source. And in case there was any doubt, your source is and always will be Jesus. The answers that you seek and the identity that you lost, they're within him. Jesus Christ, the one that loves you and created you for good. And, and for an amazing, abundant and powerful life. He did not create you to fail. And contrary to some awful but popular beliefs and teachings, he did not create you to be miserable or to be a doormat or some kind of second class citizen. And while we're talking about it, what does failing even mean? Perhaps it's time to see your life as experience, not failure. You can learn from everything and you have so much potential. You're not failing, you're doing great. Understand, you are stronger than you think. When you look up the biblical references for Ezer, that's E-Z-E-R, it's used 21 times. It's used in a military context. Military context. You, my dear sweet sister, 
are a warrior. Yes, you are a superhero. He created you to be an easer. This is going back to the Old Testament with Adam and Eve. Talking about Eve here. He created you to be an easer. An easer has the meaning to rescue, to save and to be strong. Now, who does that sound like? Yes, you were made to be like the Lord right from the beginning. It is he who is your template. And you don't have to go through any earthly person to connect with him. He lives in you and you have direct access. <laughs> now, might you need training or coaching or mentoring to learn strategies that will help you to better connect with him or to grow into that person he sees you as? Well, yes, you might. I have certainly learned some excellent methods along my journey, but that doesn't take away from the fact that you have direct access to him. Never forget that. He is your north and he has set you free to live his designed purpose for you. You're not failing. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you.